Here at uh, Gladstone with Todd Ablett, uh, who is uh, the teacher for the Robo Savages, uh, uh, a team of uh, amazing students that uh, recently came first and second in the world with respect to robotics. So, Todd, maybe just tell us a little bit about the program. Uh, well, it's it's combined grades. It's com two combined classes, electronics and engineering. And uh, the main first two thirds of the year is competitive robotics. And then uh, this time of the year, they can kind of pick their own projects. A whole bunch of them are building airplanes right now because they still want to make those flies. But a few of them keep doing other things. But uh, we found a certain amount of power in this kind of course with mixing the grades 9 to 12s. Uh, I think part of it is that the grade 9s think they can do with the grade 12s, doing the grade 12s don't want to be showing up. That said, the majority of kids in those two teams of one are mainly grade 10s. Is that right? Yeah. Wow. So yeah. now I understand all our grades. We really, when we went there, we took uh, four robots on one team. It was a different concept. The rest of the year, we all compete against each other. We have 20 teams here, right, um, in the class. But so the idea was when we went to the Worlds is, although 23 kids sounds like a lot to run four robots, that's not. And we had to like duplicate jobs and all that stuff. So we decided literally we were one team with four robots. Right? So did you know uh, that uh, as you went into the competition that you would be competitive there, competitive enough to win? Well, I didn't know we'd be competitive to win. It, it's, you've got to, everything, it's, it's got to be a perfect storm. So, um, I mean, we, last year in the programming area, we came second, which is good. Um, but to get in the top, to make the playoffs, I know teams have been doing this for 10 years and have never made the playoffs. We've been five years in a row now and four of those five times made the playoffs. So it's, so I know we're competitive. The, the nice thing is, is that every year, it's, because it's an alliance of three, every year three teams win second and three teams win first. And once you've won first, that's sort of the legendary thing, right? But no team's ever done first and second, so I was able to tell the second place team is, no, 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 the reason we've become legends in this Vector of Unbirth isn't because we went first. Every year somebody does that. We're legendary now because of you, because we've got first and second, yeah, right? So well, it brings real focus to the school yeah. and program yeah. into your terrific work. Well, and thank it's you. a lot of hours. I know I've been here after hours and I've seen you here, so I know you put in long hours. Well, it's it's that and the fact that I really, and I've said this before too, is, um, yeah, I think I've set up the right room and the right environment, and then I work very hard at that. The other reality is, is uh, I have smart kids, but I actually think their big advantage isn't that they're smart in the rest of the world. I think they pretty much outwork the rest of the world. I really believe that. Um, that uh, I mean, that in the end was the difference. Yeah. We have a bunch of uh, very solid core, and it's the ethic of the class. When you look around the room here, these are all future, future astronauts, future engineers. Future I am, the day after, and this is an neat story, the day after we came back to the world, I had six students come and visit me. Um, of the six, they have been to the world championships, but these are six students. Now they're either just out and they're starting the working career, or they're in uh, second, third, or fourth year of their program. And in that group of six was a uh, um, uh, machinist welder. Now think about that for a second, that's pretty high tech in the trades, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There was obviously a mechanical engineer, there was a robotics engineer, uh, the mechatronics, it's called it SFU. There was a computer science engineer, there was a one more engineer, but also an aeronautical engineer who's doing his uh, work placement, uh, working on the wing tips for fighter planes. Wow, wow. Yeah. So <laughs> this is where it begins, right? And this is exactly. When you started this year, did yeah. you have any yeah. expectation or anticipation of winning the world? Yeah. I've been the world, but winning, no, right? That's, yeah. that's yeah. the dream that I've had. Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, you guys are uh, legends in coming first and second in the world. That's pretty awesome. Yeah. Do you have any career plans or in the future? Something engineering related. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So you'll take what you've learned here yeah. and be able to apply it to your future. Yeah. Yeah.